Hello everyone. So welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, we will learn a little bit more about strings. Okay. So as we know, strings are of type immutable, which means we cannot alter their values. If we happen to alter the values, we need to store them in a new variable. Right. This immutability I have explained in my previous video with a simple example. Please go and check it out. In this video, we will see how we can access individual characters in a string with an example and also we will see how the arithmetic operators like addition and multiplication will have an effect on the string. Before going ahead, let's first understand how strings are formed, right? So I have my Jupyter notebook opened here. I have full name variable which stores the value Shankar Pensei. It's of type string. So how you can check the type? It's if you type in type method and pass full name to it, you will get the data type associated with that variable. Okay, so now it is of type string. There is one inbuilt method in Python called as length, which is designed to return the number of characters in a string or in any object, number of items in any object, right? So if I say length of full name, it returns me 14. So why 14? The count always starts from 1, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, space is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, correct? So my length of the string is 14. And the string is Shankar space Pense. okay? Now I am writing something here. You all observe it carefully, okay? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, right? I have a string of length 14. I am writing some numbers starting from 0. Since I am starting from 0, I don't need 14 to represent 14 numbers. I need just 30. Starting from 0, ending with 13 will give me 14 numbers, correct? Now I will write my string below these numbers, right? Okay. Yes, H, A, M, K, A, R. At 7th, we have space, so I am leaving it blank. P, E, N, D, S, and E. Okay. Just remember this. What, what are these called as? These are called as indices or positional indices okay at zeroth position we have s at first position we have h similarly at sixth position we have r and at the 13th position we have e it position always starts from zero okay and length for the count always starts from one that's why length is 14 and position indices ends at length minus one so if I have a string of length 14, the positional index ends at 14 minus 1, 13th index. If I have a string of length 8, the positional, the last positional index will be 7, 0 to 7, which will return, which will result in 8 characters, okay. So we'll see, if I want to access only s from my full name variable, how I can do that? I can just say full underscore name. Within square bracket, I can just say 0. It will print me S. Okay. And I know at 6th position, I have R. Correct. So, if I say full underscore name 6. So, it will give me R. So, similarly, at 7th position, I have space. So, it is a blank white space enclosed within single quotes because it is a string. right? So, that is what it is. And in the last position that is at position 13 i have e so it will return me e so this is called positional accessing of string which will return individual characters present at that particular position now we will see how we can extract shankar from this whole full name variable so guys remember full name stores shankar pencil but now I want to fetch only Shankar from it. So how I can do that? So I can just say full underscore name. Starting from 0th position, I want to call the characters till 6 characters, right? So I will have Shankar. But I need to mention 7 because this end character, end position is exclusive. 
when I say exclusive, this position, the character at this position will not be fetched. Okay, the character one less at this position will be fetched. So zero to six will be fetched, which will give me Shankar. Right. Similarly, if I want to skip one character in between, I can say the start index. If I don't specify anything uh, at the second number, it will by default take till the end. Means 13th character will be printed. I mean, if I give 14, it will give me full Shankar pin set. Correct. So, if I want to skip every alternate character, what I can do? There is another parameter which we can specify within the square bracket that is 0 to 14. 0 is my start position, 14 is my end position, but this is exclusive. So, it will go to 13. I want to increment the position by 2. So, you see, it skipped, right? So, full name is Shankar Pense, but I have every alternate character in this case. So, S starting from 0, okay, 0th position we have S. I am incrementing it by 2. So, instead of going to 1, it will print at 2. So, A, A is at 2. Now, instead of N, it will give me K. Instead of A, it will give me R. Instead of this white space, it will give me P. N and S, right? This last is skipped because there is nothing after incrementing it twice. So, this is how we will work on positional index arguments with respect to strings. Another thing is, if I want to print the last character of the string, I can say minus 1. So, it will return me E because if we start negative indexing, it will start from backwards. So, using this method, we can reverse a string. How we can reverse a string? I would say full name starting from minus 1 that is from the last index, I want to go till the first index. But how I want to, now I want to decrement, right? Because I am starting from last position, I want to come to first position, 0th position by decrementing one value, right? So, I will say minus 1. So, you see now, this is my full string in forward direction. This is my string in reversed way, right? So, E, S, D, N, P, E, S, D, N, E, P, then R, A, K, N, A, H, S, R, A, K, N, A, H, right? If I remove it, I will get S as well. What happened there? 0 is exclusive, right? So, at 0 position, the character was skipped. Now it is skipped. If I remove and stay, say nothing, it will give me complete reverse string. Okay, so this is about accessing individual characters and how you can extract substring within the string and how you can reverse the string. Right? Now let's see some arithmetic operators available with the strings. Okay, let's say I have a string Shankar. Oops, sorry. Okay. Let's say I have a string Shankar and I am adding another string to it, Pense. You have already seen this in my earlier video, right? So, this will concat act as a concatenation operator. Now, if I say Shankar plus 1, so any guess what will happen? It will turn me an error because the data types do not match it. Shankar is string, 1 is an integer. So, what it says can only concatenate string, not integer to string. So, in order to act, in order for addition operator to act as a concatenation operator over strings, both variables should be of type string. So, how we can achieve that? So, I say Shankar plus I convert 1 to string explicitly by using this casting method. So, string is a method into which I am passing 1. So, this 1 will be converted into string and then now this plus can be acted as a concatenation operator and now my output will be Shankar 1. Alright. So, hope this is clear. Now, we will see the effect of multiplication operator. Okay. So, let us say I want to write something like this, but what will be the effect? Addition will have effect of concatenation, right, with same data type that is string. But here 2 is of type integer, correct? So, what will be the effect of it? 
it will not return me an error instead it will repeat the string twice because i am asking it to multiply shankar by 2 it will repeat it will simply repeat it twice why twice because i have specified 2 here so if i say shankar into 3 it will give me shankar repetitively 3 times shankar 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 all right so if you have got any questions you just let me know post it in comments enjoy the learning Thank you. Bye-bye.